There it is. What's left of our inheritance? It don't look like much. But it's still ours, Meow Ella. Think anyone's working? Middle of the day. Must be someone. Then let's go say hello. Ding dong! Wah! What the? Look at this, Skulls. It's a little kitty cat. So it is. This is interesting. I wonder what you're doing here, little kitty cat. Who are you? I'm Kit. Who are you? Kit, huh? Well, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm your uncle, Meow Skulls. And this is your aunt. Meow Ella. I don't have an aunt and uncle. I don't have any family except my own. Now why did you blow a hole in my ceiling? You mean, our ceiling. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you two, really? So, your dad never told you about us, huh? That's sad. That's really sad. My dad? What does he have to do with you? Not much these days. But he owes us. Everything. See, we ain't lying to you, kid. We're your daddy's brother and sister. That's right. And we know about you. And your brother. And your sister. And your mama. Where will we find them? I'm not telling you anything. Now get lost. You don't come in here firing off gunshots and get a peep out of me. You hear that, Ella? We've been denied. Shucks. Get him and drag him with us. What are you gonna do? Take the cash and burn this dump. This place ain't worth my tuna fish. Aw, oh, leave some for me. Move it. Go, Ella. Keep moving. This is the place? Guess so. What are we doing here? Shut it. Don't make a sound. Let's get in. Ugh. This place is gross. You like it? You'll be sharing it with your brother and sister. You're not gonna get away with this. Looks like you're the one who's a prisoner. So think about that again. We're gonna go and gather your family up so y'all can be together. Stay away from my family. Mr. Meowsel, sir, I'm sorry to disturb you, but as a member of the Seven, it's my responsibility to inform you of a disaster involving one of your gas stations. A, a disaster? What happened? The chrome? No, it's been burned down. Oh no! The station burned down, but what about Kit? Kit was taken. Taken? By who? Two shady looking cat people. They left with him. A desert snake told me. What? A snake told you? Yeah, I can talk to animals. You know, because I'm a bear and all that. Well, did they say where they went? Of course not. It was just a snake. But he did say they were mean looking. But they all looked the same. All of them. Even Kit. Oh no. What is it? Lynx, we have to make sure the rest of our kids are safe. All right. Can you talk to your animal friends and find out more about the people that took Kit? I'll see what I can do. I know a warthog owes me a favor. I'm gonna go get help. The more of us that can keep our kids safer, the better. And I'll find out where Kit is. Who would do this, Meow? 
I have an idea who, but I don't know for sure yet. Who? Family. My family. I thought they were left behind on the other side of the island. Now I'm not so sure. We need to talk about this, but right now we need to get our children. Meow, hey! Oh, we're so sorry about Kit. Hey, I'm the gas station. Thanks, guys. Your new friend Grizz just told me everything. I need your help. My other kids are still out there, and I have a feeling whoever took Kit is coming for them, too. Right, then let's not waste any time. Where to first, Mr. Meowsles? My daughter, Princess. Shoot, now that's a fine house. This one belongs to Meow's kid. What? You mean this place don't belong to us? Uh-huh. Well, that's a shame. What the? Do I smell smoke? Now! Looky here! Someone's home! <coughs> what happened? Did you two do this? Yeah. Let's go. I smell smoke. No, they got here first. Meow, who are these people? My brother and sister. They were a lot younger than me. And after they were born, our parents passed away. I was working, trying to earn a living for the family. And then they were orphaned. So why are they kidnapping your kids? A few years passed, and they blamed me for everything. They got in with a pretty nasty group of cutthroats. They hated me, and didn't want my help anymore. So now they want to take their revenge on you. They're my family, but I thought they were left behind. I thought they wanted to be left behind. But now I'm not sure what they want. They've taken Princess. Where's Scruffy? He's at our other station. Then we need to hurry. Ah, I love the night shift. Now, this is a nice gas station. Think I'll keep this one. We can't keep none of it. If we do, the Meow can still make money. You're right. We have to take it all away from him. Look inside. It's their third kid. Oh, this is gonna be easy. like he'd fit into our crew. <laughs> hey, I'm warning you! Oh no, he's got a gun, Skulls. Put it down, nephew. What? Nephew? Who the heck are you two creeps? We're your family, Scruffy. You are? Then why are you pointing guns at me and blowing up my station? We were just making sure you had no robbers in the place. Working the night shift can get pretty scary, right? What do you two want? 
We're here to pick you up, bring you back to your brother and sister. Let's go, now. What did you do to him? You'll see. Let's go. Ah! What do you want? Revenge. No, not at my gas station. That belonged to my family, you jerk. Ah. Start walking, scrap cat. Scruffy, where are you? They took him! Meow, I promise you, we will find your kids. Hey! Let me out of here! It's no use, Scruffy. Princess? Kit? What happened? Who are those creeps? They said they're our aunt and uncle, but I don't believe them. Me neither. No one in our family would be like this. I think they're telling the truth. I heard them talking about destroying everything our family owns. They want to take revenge on Dad for something. Well, we need to break out of here and go fight those suckers. It's no use. The door's locked up tight. Then what do we do? We wait for someone to rescue us. What if they don't? What if they kill us? They do that? I don't know. So, we got all the kids. What we do now? Now we wait for our big brother to arrive and save the kids. And we make him pay for ruining our lives. <laughs> How we gonna do it? We stand between him and his kids. And we make him beg us to spare them. And then we make an exchange. <laughs> A heroic sacrifice. Hey, Hamlet, thanks for coming. So listen, I got a friend, and his kids have gone missing. They got snatched by two creepy cat dudes. Hear anything about it? <laughs> no way. Dude, thank you. I need to tell him right away. <laughs> Say, uh, you think you could give me a ride? We've done all we can do for tonight, Meow. You need to get some rest and we'll start our search first thing in the morning. I can't relax knowing they're out there. I know, but you have to try. Grizz, uh, what are you doing here? It's late. Evening, Mr. Meowsles. I, uh, have some news about your kids. What? Where are they? Hamlet here says he saw some shady cat people down at the Joneses. <laughs> and do you trust this pig? Of course. We've saved each other's bacon more than a couple times, eh, Hamlet? <laughs> okay, well, thanks, I guess. No problem, Mr. Meowsles. Have a safe night. Gwen! My kids! They're at the Joneses! Alright, I'll go and let Paradine know. Stay here and we'll figure out what to do. Alright. I'm not waiting around for a negotiation party. I need to deal with this myself. Kids are being quiet, finally. It don't matter. No one can hear them down there. Well, I think we have a little while before Big Brother comes looking for the brats. Yeah, you're right. What was that? Well, look who decided to show up early. Skulls, Ella, where are my kids? 
Didn't you just turn out to be a family man? <laughs> How long's it been, big brother? Five years? I told you back then that I wanted to help you. You turned me away. We didn't start to hate you when we told you. We hated you long before that. Why? When we were poor, defenseless babies. You left our family. You left us to starve. I left for you two. I left to work, to make money for mom and pop. You were too young to understand. I wanted to support us all. Then why didn't you? I became a spy. My work took me away. I couldn't get back before mom and dad passed. And then you were both brought to the orphanage. There was nothing I could do. You could have looked after us, but you didn't. You ruined our lives. You're no big brother. I'm sorry you feel that way, but you've taken my kids from me, and I won't let you stand in my way. What's between us is in the past, but if you won't stand aside and let them leave, I'll do what I have to. Now? Now. Drop it. You two. I always wanted to look after you both. Always. Even now. I take you in. If you'd let the past go and forgive me. Can you forgive me? You mean that? Of course. I don't want to fight you. You're my family. I love you. And my own kids need their dad. I've been lost to them for so long. Don't take me away from them now. scared of nothing. Hey kids. Let's go home. What about those psychos? They're uh they're coming too. Hey guys, you heard about the new channel? What new channel? Oh yeah, I heard of that one. Season started a brand new channel and their first video comes out on Saturday. Don't forget to click the link in the description, and you can be one of the first to view our new videos. Ugh, I'm bored. What's this problem? He's a little crabby. He's just not used to the settle down kind of life. Can't sit still, huh? Well, maybe there's something you guys can do to fill up your days. You mean like, go to college? Well, sure, if that's what you want. Or job, or hobby, totally up to you. Sitting around the house all the time isn't good for you. What the? What are you doing, Skulls? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm practicing. <laughs> Skulls got skills. Can you maybe not do that in the house? Something might get broken. What's the matter? I know what I'm doing. But over here, Skulls. Uh, guys, please be careful. Dad doesn't let us play ball in the house. Oh, you hear that, Ella? Big bad bro meow doesn't like to have fun. Come on, give me the ball. All right then, let's play dodgeball. Whoa! Ah, what was that for? That's how we play dodgeball. Uh, guys, there's a fire over there. Whoa, sheesh, did I do that? Oh no, fire, fire, everyone fire! Ella, come on! Oh man, Dad's gonna be so mad. I told you not to play ball in the house, you two. What were you? Hey! Where did they go? The kids are outside safe. Well, it started when Ella and Skulls were playing in the kitchen with a basketball. Kit, what did I tell you about playing ball in the house? Look what's happened! I told them that, but they didn't listen. Where are they now, Skulls and Ella? Uh, I'm not sure. 
We ran out of the house and then I looked back and they were gone. That's it. I'm gonna find them and tell them that they aren't staying here anymore. They can find someone else's house to trash. No, Dad, don't. They were only playing around. Maybe they'll learn their lesson now. Well, I guarantee they will. Oh, man. Dad's gonna kick out Ellen's skulls over this? I shouldn't have told him it was them. You said they didn't listen to you. Even when you told them we can't play like that in the house. Your dad's gonna talk to them. He's just mad right now, kid. He won't kick them out. <sighs> okay, come here. It wasn't your fault. Pretty good pizza. You know what, Skulls? I don't think I like what we just done. What do you mean? Well, I think after Meow took us in, even though we burned his gas stations down and kidnapped the kids, I kind of feel bad that we just run off like that. Huh? I said I don't think we should have done that. Why not? I don't want to be there when Meow finds out. Skulls, we live with him and the kids and his wife. We need to learn to respect what's been given. Huh, you really expect me to just let it all go and play happy families? That's not our family, it's his. I know you don't feel that way, Skulls. I know you like the kids. You and kids seem to get along. Yeah, he ain't so bad. Scruffy too. Even if he plays like the tough guy and doesn't talk to me. I think he's trying to impress me. See, you do got a family now. We should go back and tell them we're sorry. Ugh, fine. But only because I don't want Kit getting the blame for this. Uh-oh. Here we go. What do you think you're doing? We were... Zip it! I'm talking now! How dare you two run from a burning house full of children! What? That's right. You burnt down my kitchen when you were playing basketball. And after you ran off so you wouldn't get in trouble, Nia and Lynx had to get her kids out of our burning house! Meow, listen. I honestly did not think that you would find out it was me. Oh my god, Skull, stop talking. Are you kidding me right now? Sorry, uh, that was dumb. I, I didn't mean to say that. I, I, uh, that's it. You two are out. I was gonna give you another chance, but you obviously have no intention of changing your ways. Meow, no. Listen, we're really sorry. Skulls is an idiot. He shouldn't talk. I was just telling him how grateful we are to have you and the kids in our lives and a roof over our heads and... That's enough, Ella. You can't talk your way out of this either. You two are finished living with me. I don't care where you go, you cannot stay with me anymore. What about the kids? You telling me we can't see them no more? I'll let you two see the kids when you've got jobs and have your own place. Until then, I don't see either of you as responsible enough to be around my children. And that's final. Why don't you ever think before you speak? What? I was being honest. Ain't that what you said? Not that honest. Now we're homeless again unless we get jobs and rent a house. Skulls, we need to make this right with Meow. Forget him. Kicked us out over this? And he didn't listen to us or nothing. I ain't mending no bridges for him. Ugh, you're so immature. gonna find a place to live. How do we do that? You gotta go to a real estate agent. I think I heard Meow talking about a yeller feller who rents places. That banana guy, right? Something like that. Well, I ain't got any money. Can't exactly rent a place without cash. You got anything? Uh, I spent my last few bucks on that pizza. Ugh, Skulls, I know you're gonna hate me for saying this, but we need to get jobs. No, no way, Ella. No way in heck. I ain't doing it. Ain't no way, you hear? Then how do you propose we don't freeze or starve? We find a place, we go inside that place, and we stay there. Totally free. It's called squatting. I know what squatting is, Skulls. Squatting is for homeless people, and we ain't gonna be homeless no more. You're ashamed of us, ain't you? You got one whiff of the good life, and you can't stand your own past. That ain't entirely true. I just think that we've got a better life waiting for us, and you don't even care. If you just listened to Kit and didn't play with that stupid basketball. You were playing with the ball, too. Yeah, well, you ran. And you followed me. You know what, Ella? You want to go back to your plush little mansion in the woods? You go. Go be with that overinflated brother of ours and leave me to rot out here. Skulls, I don't want to leave you. Come with me. No, I got my pride. And no one's going to tell me what to do. Not even you, Ella. Fine, good luck. See how long it takes you to crack up. Huh. <laughs> 
I don't care. I'll be just fine on my own. I don't need no stinking job, neither. Classic Skulls. Always running his mouth when he needs to be quiet and listen. Always getting us both in trouble. Well, I'll get us out of this mess, just like I always do. All right, kids. Since your aunt and uncle have, uh, left the house, we're gonna have to fix this mess up ourselves. Now who's ready to have some DIY fun? You kick Skulls and Elle out of the house? Well, I'm sorry, kid, but I had to. All they did was cause a fire. It was an accident, even if Skulls started it. Ella's part of it too, Princess. I've talked to Ella. We're best friends. And she said she doesn't want to be like Skulls anymore. <sighs> yeah, right. She was playing ball just as much as he was. She's just as responsible as him. Is not. Is too. All right, that's enough. Aunt Ella and Uncle Skulls are gonna find their own place to live. Wait, so you kicked them out with nowhere to go? Dad! Hey, they needed to find their own way in life, all right? They don't know how to do that on their own. I'm gonna go help Uncle Skulls. Kit! And I'm gonna help Auntie Ella. Oh, come on! I have to fix all this by myself. Ugh. Who does Ella think she is? Leaving me like this? Well, I don't care. I don't need her. I can get by just fine on my own. I'm from the streets, and I can hustle my way out of any situation. <laughs> Perfect. I know a grifter when I see one. Hey man, what's up? What do you want? Eh, you know, I'm a guy who can get stuff done. Need a guy to do some odd jobs for you? Beat it, alley cat. I already got a guy. I don't need no strays to pickpocket me when I ain't looking. What? I wouldn't do that. Don't care. I said beat it. Mm. What does he know anyway? Skulls! Huh? Oh, kid. Now what are you doing here? I came looking for you. My dad told me he kicked you out. I'm so mad at him. <laughs> well, that makes two of us, kid. Why did you come looking for me? Well, because I wanted to help you get a place to live. What my dad did isn't right. Huh. Well, stick with me, and you can help me find a place to live. I just need to find a little work, and I'll have a place in no time. There's a restaurant hiring over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't doing that kind of job. No, sir. Come on. Hmm. Gotta find a job. But I don't have any experience. Hmm. Where should I start looking? Is that Princess? And Ella! Princess, what are you doing out here? I came looking for you. I want to help you. Kit said you and Skulls are responsible for the fire, but I know it was Skulls. I tried to stand up for you, but my dad said his decision's final. Uh-huh, I'm afraid he said the same thing to me. Sorry, Princess. Guess we won't be seeing much of each other anymore. No! I want to help you find a place so we can see each other all the time. You're a real sweet kid. Well, maybe you can help me find a job. I can't exactly rent somewhere when I ain't got no cash. Well, there's a coffee shop nearby. You could try in there. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, you think I could get a job here? Well, we could always get you in for a trial. Oh, cool. Uh, can we do that now? Oh, uh, sure. Great! Uh, okay, so make me a latte? All right, can't be that hard. Whoa, okay, that's enough. Did I do it right? I think you broke the coffee machine. Uh. My manager's gonna kill me. Uh-oh. Well, uh, thanks for the opportunity. You'll give me a call? Get out! How did it go? Just walk away, princess. Just walk away.
stupid log-headed chainsaw and good for nothing? What happened? I didn't get the job. Something about a character background check? I'm guessing you don't want him to look into that, huh? I do not. Your Uncle Skulls may have been something of a shady character in the past, but you know what? Seeing you want to spend time with me makes me want to do better. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Don't give up, Skulls. I'm right here by your side. You're a good kid. Well, I'd give you a job myself, but we'd have to rebuild the gas stations. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> How about I get us some lunch? Oh, I'm so glad you said that. I ain't got no money. We'll find you some work, Uncle Skulls. Don't worry. Yeah, I hope so. I ain't in no mood to go and apologize to Meowsels. Or Meow Ella, for that matter. It'd be nice if you did. You two are better off working together. She'd rather forget about us and go live with your dad. And do everything he says. Well, look who it is. Ella. And Princess. Well, well. Fancy finding you two here. We could say the same for you. Well, did you find a job? Not yet, but I did have a job trial. Oh, really? And how did that go? Well, not so good. But that ain't none of your business now, is it? So neither of you have a job or a home to go to, and you're still fighting like kids? Leave Uncle Skulls alone. He's trying. Not hard enough. Now they have nowhere to stay. I tried hard to fix things up for us. You could have the decency to appreciate that I'm trying to get us out of this mess. You ain't doing nothing. I'm the one out here looking for a job. Like you could get a job. That's it. Ugh, shouldn't have done that. It. We're gonna be homeless again because of you! Because of you! If you hadn't started the fire in the first place, then none of this would have happened. If you weren't such a goody two-shoes all of a sudden, we'd never be in this situation. That's it! You're no brother of mine. You ain't my family no more. Well, that's just fine by me. Have fun being told what to do all the time. Come on, kid. <laughs> Skulls, he's such a jerk. He'd rather be a crook than have a family. It's okay, Ella. Come with me, we'll go home. Dad will understand. You tried your best. Huh, I guess if you want a job done right, you should just do it yourself. Ella, princess. Hey, big bro. I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I tried to find a job, but no one wants to hire me. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Huh. Well, I think that's very mature of you to ask. Yes, I'm sure I can find something for you to do. Now, is that really so difficult, Ella? No, I guess not. Ella promised me that if you let her come back, she'll help me with my homework and clean the house and be on her best behavior. So, can she stay? Hmm, all right. But I want to see a change, Ella. A real one. You got it. I don't want to be like Skulls no more. Where's Skulls? Well, uh, he and Kit kind of took off, and now we don't know. Me and Skulls had a fight. Kit took his side and left. Ugh. Skulls has some serious growing up to do. What are you doing? Huh? Why are you being all sneaky? You're looking for something. You're looking for cash. Will you be quiet, Ella? I'm looking for Meow's wallet. I need to borrow a couple bucks. Why don't you
you just ask him instead of breaking into his bedroom? Because I knows he won't say yes. Now shush! Ha! Found it! Skulls. Hey, hey, there's more in here than I thought. Put it back, Skulls. Come on, Ella. Big Brother would want us to have it. That's what Big Brothers do. They hand out cash and they don't expect it back. Who are you trying to kid? How much is in there anyways? Couple hundred. Hundred? Hooey! Let's go have some fun. <laughs> a great idea, Skulls. I ain't had a night out in a long time. Me neither. <laughs> this is a taste of how the other half lives, Ella. It could be like this all the time if we make some serious cash, too. How are we gonna do that? Who cares? For now, we can enjoy having that nice handout from Big Bro. Well, I think I'm gonna go meet some of these fine individuals, Ella. Why, hello there. You like money? Skulls, stop throwing our cash around. I ain't never been able to afford to be in a place like this before. We gonna go shopping? Not today. I'm gonna make them pay for all the times they kick me out for shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Public property. I'm all for street art, but I don't think you got a permit for that. What are you gonna do about it, Bug Brain? I'm gonna arrest you both. Run, Skulls. Hey, get back here. I'm pretty hungry, Ella. Ooh, how about we get some of that fancy people food? Oh, that sounds real fancy. What the? The door's stuck. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? The door's broken, fella. It was locked. Why'd you lock the door? Because we're closed. The lights are on. I see some dumb fish in a uniform. Looks pretty open to me. Get out! Uh-oh. Run, Skulls. He's got a broom. Ah! That was a close one. Ugh. I was hungry. What we do now? Everything's closing. Not everywhere. The casino's open all the time. And what better place to spend our money? We might even be able to make bank. That's a great idea. How much you have left? Enough. Ooh. Fancy. Evening. Hey there, looking to play. Y'all are still open, right? Oh, we never sleep. Take a seat. I assume you know how to play. I know 
what I'm doing. Deal them out. Let's see the cash first. Hit me. Be careful, Skulls. Uh-oh. Players bust. House wins. Nice try. Fancy going again? How much did you just lose? Uh, a lot. Can you still pay in? Uh, let's see. Uh, how's that? Um, it'll do. Hit me. This is the last round, Skulls. Got it? Hit me. Ooh, a natural for the house. What do you have? Uh, uh, 21 also. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't appreciate lies at my table. You lose, house wins. Was that everything we had? I got this, Ella. I'll win it all back and some. I just need a lucky streak. Deal them out. Your buy-in? I put my house on it. Skulls? You can't do that. It's not. Shush, Ella. I know what I'm doing. Paying in with property. Just sign here, please. Very good. Hit me. House wins. A house, apparently. Would you like to play again? Uh, uh, no thanks, man. I think we're good. You just lost all Meow's money in a house in Blackjack. Skulls, aren't you gonna say something? It's fine. It ain't no big deal. He ain't actually gonna come and take the house. He's just bluffing. You signed a contract. It's fine, Ella. Just relax. Let's just get back to the house and we can forget all this happened. should be where you left it in the bedroom. Well, it's not! Uh, I'm so mad! If I find out someone took it, I'm gonna go berserk! Maybe we should leave. Unbelievable! Well, maybe I left it somewhere dumb. Oh, hello, Meow. Been a while. I didn't expect to find you here. Who did you expect? A scrawny cat man and his sister. Oh, boy. Oh, what did they do now? They lost a lot of money at my table. And when they ran out, this was their collateral. And they lost miserably. What is now? Ah, uh, you're standing in it, my friend. My house? Well, yes and no. See, I didn't refer to it as your house, because it is in fact now my house. Uh, but, but, what? I haven't signed anything yet. This can't be possible. Oh, it's already been signed for. Come on now, time to go. What about my family? All my stuff? Do you have personal belongings insurance? No. Ah, then I'm afraid they are part of the house. Shame that. Come on now, hurry up. Well kids, I hate to tell you this, but it looks like your aunt and uncle lost our house in a game of blackjack. So now we're sort of without a home. 
Yes, but only temporarily. But your dad's gonna make sure we get our house back, aren't you, Meow? Exactly! As soon as I found your aunt and uncle. By the way, kids, did any of you take my wallet? Nope. Not recently. Okay. We gotta find them, Dad. We have to get our house back. We will. Scruffy, Princess, stay with your mom. Me and Kid are gonna fix this, all right? Why don't I get to do nothing no more? Because you're not the favorite. Hey, I'll be in touch. Get our house back, Meow, and tell your brother and sister to find their own place to lose in a casino. Yes, dear. Come on, kid. I'm jumping in the pool. Scruffy, no, you'll ruin your chassis. Too late, it's already broken. What are we gonna do when we find them, Dad? We're gonna make them pay for our house, one way or another. We find a way to make sure they can't talk, walk, or otherwise squeeze their way out of this. They've gone too far this time. I'm not even mad. You're not? No, kid. Worse, I'm disappointed. Oh, no. Let's ask around and see if anyone's been robbed lately. Where are we going, Skulls? We're going somewhere we can lay low for a while. Oh, good. I'm starting to think we'd have to sleep on the streets again. Not if I can help it. See, I've been making some meaningful connections lately, and it just so happens I know a girl who's gonna be pretty happy to see me. Huh, you've got some nerve. Vera, hey baby, how you doing? It's Evie, and you left me alone in the club. I did? That's right, I thought we were getting to know each other. You told me you thought I was pretty, and as soon as I asked what you do, you threw cash in the air and vanished without saying goodbye. Oh, well, uh... You think I could come in and we could pick it up where we left off? Absolutely not. Oh, okay then. Well, uh, you have any cash? Meaningful connections? I thought she was into me. Congratulations. We are once again homeless thanks to you. And so is the whole dang family that took us in. You think I don't know that? I'm trying to work something out. There's gotta be a way I can get that house back. I'll think of something. You should have started thinking before you stole Meow's wallet. Hey, don't leave me here. It's getting late. You think we're gonna find him, Dad? Eventually. But I'm not sure we should leave the others alone. All right, one more hour and then we go home. Got it. Mmm, still hot. I think that was from the heat of the dumpster. Found you. Uh, run, Ella. Go where? It's a dead end. You two aren't going anywhere. You stole my wallet. You blew all my cash and you gambled my home away. Meow, please. I swear, I thought I'd win big. I was going to give you a cup for sure. Ugh, Skulls, will you stop doing that? Skulls is very sorry he stole your wallet and lost the house. And he's gonna make it all better, ain't ya? Y yeah, all I gotta do is win it back. More gambling? Are you insane? You are so irresponsible! Come here! Whoa! I promise you, I can fix it. All I gotta do is cheat. You're kidding me. No, for real. I'm a big hustler at the tables. The only reason I lost the house is because I didn't cheat. It's true. I've seen him clean out game after game with his tricks. Come on, Meow, let him try. You two are gonna fix this. And if you don't, forget about showing your faces again. Welcome back. Take a seat. You cannot lose this. I won't. Ready to play again? Uh-huh. 
then please, state your buy-in. Me. Excuse me? Skulls! You heard me. I lose, you get me. I'm all I've got to give, and I'm a low life too, buddy. You think I don't know who you are? I see. And what do you wager your undying servitude against? Everything I lost. The house, the cash, all of it. I see this as a fair trade. You've got a deal. Shuffle the cards. Hit me. Hit me. Careful, Skulls. Final draw. What's your move? Hit me. Natural. What? 21. That's the hand. Show me. Freedom and weep. Skulls, you did it. Uh, how? I'll take my winnings now. Sign here, please. Hmm. Well, I told you I'd win, didn't I? I guess so. I suppose I should thank you. You had nothing to gamble with, so you bet yourself to Midas? You must have really pulled a fast one. Oh, I did. And there ain't no way he's gonna find out about it. So, me and Skulls have been thinking about everything, and we want to apologize. We really want to do better. We should have never taken your wallet and gambled. No, Ella. I'm tired of you covering for me. This had nothing to do with you. It was me. And I knew better, but I did it anyway. And I put the family in a whole lot of trouble. I don't ever want to do that again. I hope that's true, Skulls. It is. I promise. I don't want to lie no more. Honest. Hmm. All right. I forgive you. But don't let me down again. Please. We won't. Will we, Skulls? No, sir. We are the pinnacle of maturity and responsibility. Good. Well, good luck. You're gonna need it. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you gonna let us in? Oh, you didn't think that I'd let you live here again after you robbed me, did you? Well, I was hoping that... Dang it! Aw, oh, what? Now what are we gonna do? Well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't mention I won back Meow's cash. Skulls? What? It was already gone. You didn't need to know. You're such a thief. Aw, oh, don't be like that, Ella. Come on. Let's go get you some of that fancy people food from that there Durburger place. It's a good thing I'm hungry, or you'd be giving that back. 